All right, now that you all know that mispronounced words, we know what's going to be coming in the future. You'll never see it coming, and there'll be no more beeps. Anyway, Andy, the three-second intro, go. You are consuming media. I'm letting it consume media. Please help, it hurts. Does magic, but in a ditzy way, like a real himbo. <clears throat> Howl's Moving Castle 2004. The only manufactured celebrities we need is Bobby, Hatsune Miku, and the Muppets. And g g gorillas, you know. Guys, please. My little cousin confidently declared that Mother Nature had a counterpart named Daddy Electric, and I feel like this concept needs to be explored. Anytime your power comes back on after a blackout, I expect you all to say, Thank you, Daddy Electric. The weirdest instance of getting my wires crossed I've ever experienced. I had a piece of candy at my desk. My intention was to simultaneously eat the candy and start a brief work task. I put the candy in my mouth. I felt a surge of alarm as I was convinced for a fraction of a second that I had somehow eaten the task I was about to start. Yeah. The prevalence of the coyote as a trickster in American myth, the jackal as a trickster in African myth, and the fox as a trickster in Eurasian myth proves that the funny doggy is a staple across cultures. Yeah, that sounds like a bunch of bullcrap. Why, why do we, why do we gotta make the dog the bad one? This seems like it was made up by cat. <gasps> the cats are the tricksters. They've lied to you all. I was not prepared for Sheriff Snorlax. This town ain't big enough for the one of me. Jigglypuff is just Kirby's persona. In this essay, I will. Nope, nope, not gonna stop you right there. Nope, nope. Leo, Leo. You're very close to having the music coming. Watch it. Nothing worse than when the premise of something captivates you, but then it sucks ass. Bro, you just put this idea out into the world and you didn't even do it a shred of justice. I've always wanted to write a book dedication to all the authors whose ideas inspired me to write and whose execution inspired me to edit. <laughs> I board the Starship Enterprise. I go to a food replicator. I heard a soup, no bowl. And I leave. Can't tell if the most shocking famous cousin in reveals of all time was Ben Shapiro slash Mara Wilson or Jill Rogan slash Gerard Way. Hmm. Image prompt. Gary, I realize it's your first day, but we do have a dress code. I literally can't tell who is talking to who and I don't want to change that for a second. People on Twitter are always like, uh, there's still people on Tumblr? As if Twitter wasn't full of stolen text posts, GIFs, and art originally posted there. They think that they're doing an archaeological dig, but really they're just walking into our houses, picking up random stuff and saying, Wow, what a beautiful post. Shame that the people who made it died a long time ago. While we stare at them from our dinner tables. Twitter is the British Museum. Voice acting enemies of mobile games be like, You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some- Feeling so hamburger helpless. All energy healing is a scam. Except for when a kitty lays on your chest and purrs and purrs and sends restorative rays of magic into your bones and nerves. Fellas, that one's real, I swear. They're minor inconveniences to you. To me, they're world-ending tragedies. Mmm. Whenever I get intrusive thoughts, I think to myself, that's not canon, and most of the time they go away. If it's not canon, it can't hurt me. Why do you want to maim and kill? I literally don't. Banned from chat? Not even canon? The fuck is this? Uh, knitting is impossible with two kittens. Yo, know, that's why I use needles. Born too late to be a ground cowboy and too early to be a space cowboy. This is neither rootin' or tootin'. I'm opening Fifty Shades of Grey to a random page and posting what I find, part nine. YouTube, I swear this is not, this is not a bad one. I swear, this one's funny. Please, please, put down the button. Put down the button. Okay, okay. Christian Grey puts his thumb in my mouth, and then the other one, and then two more. Wider. He said as he put in one more. I bet you've never had this many thumbs in your mouth. I hadn't. Yo, where is he getting all those thumbs? Behold, abomination. Where, where the heck is Leafeon? Inside. There is a Leafeon inside all of us. Okay, no, but seriously, this? I want this to be the ghost type. Give it to me. If you ever find symbolism in my writing, please tell me. I'd like to know about it too. 
Also, if you ever find a plot in my symbolism, please tell me so I can make use of it. I'm begging you. Squidward only ever makes artwork based off his visage. It's all very surface level and lacks any emotional depth. Squidward should start making artwork based on how Squidward feels and not how Squidward looks, you know? I feel like he's experimented plenty with self-portraits, but none of them really say much about Squidward as a person, you know? Yo, I got real drunk last night and got really emotional over Squidward's potential and how much he holds himself back. I'm sorry. Hmm. This aged well. Thank <laughs> you.